Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm with Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, the Emergency Management Division. And I am here with my good friend, Sparky. Hello. Thank you, Sparky, for coming. We are going to talk to you today about Fire Prevention Month. Yes. This year's theme is learning the sounds of fire safety. And we are going to talk about smoke alarms. Oh, boy. They're important, aren't they, Sparky? Yep. For a smoke detector, there is a certain number of beeps. Do you know how many beeps that would be, Sparky? Oh, three. Three. Three beeps. That's correct. We're gonna we're gonna test it. Do you wanna test it? Oh, I think yeah. it'll be good. The smoke detector. Maybe help me push it. You wanna help me push the button? Sorry, Sparky. Sparky. Right Such a good helper. All right, we're gonna listen for those three sounds, the three beeps. It's coming. Here it comes. Yes. Oh. Oh. One, two, three. Yep, yep, that's three. That's correct. So three beeps, that's what we're doing. Three beeps for a smoke alarm. Now, if we have a carbon monoxide detector, which we should all be also be testing monthly, how many beeps do you think that has? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Four beeps, that's correct. Yep. So we want to make sure that you're listening for those beeps and know what those beeps mean. Three for fire four for carbon monoxide. That's easy. If you hear chirping, it is most likely a battery issue. Now, please don't be naughty and take those batteries out. We really need you to replace the batteries and not just take them out and leave them out because then they won't be, your smoke alarm won't be effective when you need it. If you have someone in your home who is um, deaf or hard of hearing um, or blind, there are other types of smoke alarms that you can get. They are bed shakers, so they shake the bed, or they have strobe lights. So please make sure that you're picking the appropriate smoke alarm. Sparky, I think we should try something fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Sparky, oh. so we are gonna try to pretend like we're asleep and we're gonna be super quiet and we're gonna have nice dreams and everything's great, right? Okay. Three beeps, Sparky. What do we need to do? We need to get down to the ground. And we're gonna get down on all fours and we're gonna Yep. Crawl under the smoke. Here I go. And we're going to go outside to our exit. Mm -hmm. Our exit meeting place, right? Yep. We're going to yeah, go right. outside. Out by the tree. Our exit into our meeting place. Yep. By the tree. Sparky, you did a phenomenal job. Thank I'll you. meet you outside. Okay. Thank you for joining us today and having fun with Sparky and I. I'd like for you to visit a couple links that I have posted up here. One is NFPA.org. That's the National Fire Protection Association. There's a lot of information, not just about smoke alarms, but all kinds of fire prevention material. The second is Sparky.org. If you're looking for something to do to keep your children busy, please make sure you visit this fun and educational website. You can always go to QACDES.org for some more information about what we offer at the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services. And don't forget to visit your local volunteer fire department in the county. They also are a great resource and it's great to get out and meet them as well. Thanks so much. Be safe out there.